A 35-year-old man, Mohammad Asghar, a resident of Ramgarh town, was beaten to death by a mob after they accused him of transporting beef. The incident happened between 4 and 5 p.m. That's just about a couple of hours, two or three hours after the Prime Minister made that statement in Gujarat. Let's go across uh, to Mr. Malik. He is the ADG of the area. He's uh, joining us now, ADG operations. Mr. Malik, Malik sir, kya hua tha? Malik ji, batayi hume, what happened in this case? No, actually, it appears that uh, this person uh, who has some past criminal record was involved in some uh, trading or some business of, uh, you know, uh, uh, meat. And uh, some people were trading him. Uh, perhaps there was a dispute. That is what we have gathered. And it's a case of a premeditated murder, it appears, because people were waiting him for him at a point uh, just outside Ramgarh town. And uh, at 9.42, as the Supreme Police told me, he received the call. Within 10 minutes, police reached there, rescued this person, brought him to hospital. Uh, when he was brought to hospital, he was, uh, it, it was reported that he is okay. But it appears he must have had some internal injury and then... Later on, he has succumbed, that is what we have gathered. So, it's uh, what we have gathered, it's a pure case of crime, criminal incident. And uh, uh, a case has been found against 10 accused who have been identified. And the police uh, will move ahead to uh, arrest all of them uh, uh, shortly. So shortly you're saying this incident happened around 4 and 5 but you've identified the person and you're saying it's definitely a case of premeditated murder. So this is a crime you're saying. So a lot of the proponents who say this has got nothing to do with you know backing from the government, they say this is a law and order problem. If that is the case, then it is the police that is responsible and ma to make sure that this does not happen. Why has the police not taken action sooner then? Because people are clearly thinking that they can go ahead and do this. Actually, you see... Only two days back, as an incident occurred in Giridi where police was able to rescue the person from the crowd and he is recovering. So here also the police on and getting information, police reached the spot and rescued the person. It was not that uh, everything happened in presence of the police. The moment the police reached there, the crowd was dispersed and this person was picked up and he was taken to the hospital. So police, as soon as they got the information, the police swung into action. But uh, it appears upon subsequent, uh, you know, investigation or turn of events that this uh, premeditated uh, uh, crime and uh, uh, severe, severe action will be taken against all the people who have, who have been found to be involved in this. All right, sir. So you're saying uh, that uh, you've identified 10 accused. Can you tell us something about them? No, oh, there are people, I mean, I don't have the details, what the SP has told me that 10 people, I mean, identified, they, they, they are being, uh, uh, FIR has been filed against them, and the police will move ahead to arrest all of them as soon as possible. All right, and sir, lastly, you're saying it's premeditated murder that you think that the people were actually laying in wait for him. So does this uh, have anything to do with beef? So that is, you see, that uh, uh, I would not be in a position to tell you now, because that's a part of investigation and only when uh, we receive any concrete report on the material, whatever was being transported, only then I'd be able to uh, give any concrete reply to that. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for speaking to us, Mr. Malik. We appreciate your time and uh, your being candid about this. Thanks so much.